welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you're new. And if you are new, thank you for joining us and I hope you will subscribe. I'm mom, Mary, and our son Joshua is 12 years old. He has high functioning autism and then there's daddy. So it's three of us. We talk about our life. We talk about Joshua and all things that have to do with being an autism family. So if that is of an interest to you, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you guys join. And yeah, let's get into the video. It today, I don't know why I do that. Anyways, today we're going to talk about early autism symptoms and how they are either better or different or what they're like today uh, nine years later, nine, 10, 11, 12, eight years later from diagnosis. But you know what? We're not even going to do it from diagnosis because I saw these symptoms way before diagnosis. So talking about autism symptoms, early autism symptoms and how they are different eight years later. And, um, when he started getting his words and started babbling and saying, saying words, mama, dada, and things like that, he started to put words together and then he immediately regressed and he stopped. I noticed the, the language, uh, started and stopped. Three, four, five, five, six. And I also noticed that he walked on his toes and not just a little bit or every once in a while, but all the time, all the time. on his toes and he's um so those were immediate symptoms that I saw and the plane alone not wanting to engage with us he will do things and just kind of play off on his play off play off to the side by himself or if he found something that he was interested in or intrigued in he would just um kind of go off and, and do his own thing and was perfectly happy with it.
not look for validation from myself or from anybody in our family where kids will play or do something and they immediately look to see if you're watching. He didn't do that. And I noticed these things right away as early as uh, 10, 11, 12 months old. And he also would get very agitated easily. And I now sense know that it probably had to do with the sight and sound things that bothered him. Pearly! So I noticed that uh, he would get agitated real easy and I like I said I know that it had to do with sights and sounds uh, bright lights maybe noises that that really bothered him he didn't have communication skills to tell me what was the matter and I had no idea all of his early autism symptoms have gotten much much better except for the toe walking he does not walk on his flat feet at all ever even running he does on his toes. He's sick right now, so I have not been able to uh, film and do a lot of things uh, like I wanted to do for Vlogmas, a video a day, so I've actually missed two days, but I'm going to try to make up for that. Um, so he is sick right now, and that is something when he is sick, he does not do very well with. So that's one thing that hasn't changed too much. But the big thing that's changed is communication. He can now communicate with me and tell me what is aggravating him or bothering him, agitating him. And also just with time, right? We get to know our kids. We get to know what gets them going, what could get a start of meltdown, sensory processing disorder. I'm just now really starting to get that at 12 years old. I'm really starting to see where he needs time to uh, take in what I say to him if I give him too many tasks at one time or I say something to him, that he needs time to process that. And that is sensory processing disorder. And I need to allow him that time. So along with things getting, him getting better, I think that we get better. We get better at understanding our children. We get better at knowing what they need. Um, we get a lot more flexible with things. We don't get as amped up over things or, or crazy about things that are happening. You just kind of, right? I know a lot of your parents are shaking your head. You know that things you just have to let it go. I was kind of like, no, oh, yeah. We don't even notice it sometimes. I've noticed where he's doing something and everybody else is kind of like, you know, and we're just, we're going with the flow. And that is so good for your kids, I believe. I know it is for Joshua, because if I get worked up, it's gonna work him up. You guys do the best thing for your kids. You guys know what to do. You guys understand your, ch your child. You don't need anybody to tell you how to understand your child, right? We know what we're doing. We don't, but we do. And what we don't know, we're figuring out. And I think that along with support in these types of engagements with other people, because I watch a lot of other channels myself, to get support and to talk to other people to ask them questions, this is helpful, I think, for a lot of us. I hope. It is for me. I get help from you guys, so thank you. So if you're out there and you're watching this and you have a little one who has symptoms that you just don't understand because they're too little to communicate, Please give it some time and just trust your instinct. Trust your instinct as a parent because you have the best instinct for your child. And let your child teach you because they will, verbally or non-verbally. They will let you know. Just have a great night. Thank you so much for your support. And just thank you for being you and for hopefully subscribing and share our videos. Share them to everybody if you want. You don't have to. But think about it. And then maybe share them. And wish Joshua uh, to feel better because he's sick. That's it. And you know the routine. Peace.